everybody, welcome back to Samsung in a Minute, the channel that trains you on your Samsung Galaxy devices in around two minutes. Today we're going to talk about folder creation. I've been asked a few times, what is the best way to create folders? How do you make folders? How do you put them on your home screen? How are they in your application tray? So today is kind of like a Android 101 session for anybody who is asking questions, or if you just want to learn a few different types of ways of creating folders that maybe you never knew from before. So first off, we're gonna take a look inside the application tray and on the top, you might notice that there's already a few pre-made folders. These are from Google, Microsoft, Samsung. You might even have another one from your carrier, maybe Verizon, AT&T, and Sprint, for example. Now with this one over here, there's a Samsung folder already sitting there. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you two different ways to add an application into this folder. Now, the first way that you can get this done is if you see the application you would like to move up. So this one is a Samsung app, the Galaxy Store. Simply press and hold and move it up into that little folder and then release it, and it's actually that simple. Now, if there's one of these applications in a folder that you would like to move out, just simply press and hold one more time, bring it up and about, and then you're gonna place it somewhere where it's not on top of another application, and it puts it right back into place. Now, the second way that you can add something into a folder that's already been created, let's say we go inside of the Samsung folder one more time. When you hit on the plus button, this will not show you applications that's already a part of the folder. These are all the applications that are already not in there. So it makes it very simple so you don't repeat yourself. So again, we're gonna go right back over inside of the Galaxy Store. I'm gonna add that one in there, hit on done. And so that's a fast way to massively just add a bunch of applications at one time is by going through a list and just tapping on all of them that you would like to create. Now, the next way that you can create folders, we're gonna go right up over here and create one ourselves. So let's just go through and put tools together. So I have one right over here that's already called tools which is calculator, calendar, clock, and, and notes. And so when you first get your phone, you don't have that folder. So I'm gonna go to clock. And I'm gonna drag it on top of calendar. And then now that I got that done, I already created the folder and I'm gonna add in whatever is left. So you can see that I'm actually mixing in almost like two of these together. So there is that calculator. And then now let's move over into Samsung notes. Now, once you've added in all the applications you would like to add, you just hit on done. And then now you, you just have to type in the name. So again, this one was called tools where you type in tools, but I also want to change the color of this one. So you can change the color with any of these right here. You also have an entire wheel that you can change it from or an entire grid. And then once this is done, you just tap out of that. You can see that tools is sitting right there. Now, if you want this to go onto your home screen, just press and hold and you drag and drop it. But let's say that you have a folder that is all created. If there's any of these applications that you would like to kind of get rid of, you can press and hold and you can hit on remove from home. Or what you can do is you can press and hold and then just drag it right on out. And then now it's gonna be all free loading again. I'm gonna put it right back in there because I do like to use it. Uh, anytime that you create a folder, you can also rearrange all of these. So if you want them to sit in a completely different order based on what is important to you, you can also do that. But I hope you guys have liked this video. If you guys did, please give this a huge thumbs up. Don't forget to hit on subscribe. Subscribe right over here in the very bottom left-hand side. And if you like this video, then more than likely, you'll also like this video. And I'll see you guys later.